Hey everybody, Hey Carver here. In this video, we are going to go over a system monitor for Comfy UI. Uh, this is called Chris Tools, and there's a link to the GitHub repo here. This actually does like way, 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 way more than just list your resources. Like it, it's one thing that it does, but there's like tons of other things that it does that I don't even use. I haven't even started using. Uh, but this is really great to just have the toolbar uh, up here because when you launch something, you can see GPU goes to 100%, uh, VRAM, we're at 69%, I can monitor my temperatures, I have a second GPU that's not being used, but uh, it's just nice to be able to see everything. And then there's like additional metrics you can get. Um, apparently, you, you can put like some custom nodes in and there's some... Uh, additional like metrics you can get to find like bottlenecks and stuff but if you want something I just like how clean it is it fits up here nicely with the manager and everything works great um, and I highly recommend it it just makes it a lot easier there we go that was pretty quick got another image here um, I can see you know everything went back down to zero so uh, as far as getting it installed there's a couple ways you can do it um, you definitely need comfy UI and then if you want to do it through the Comfy UI Manager, which I honestly recommend, it's so much easier. Um, you could that's an optional requirement. So for if we're going to do it through the manager, what you can actually do is just go into the manager, do custom nodes manager, and you're just going to search for Chris Tools. And there's two of them, but you're only going to do the top one here. You can see, like for last update, this was yesterday. It was updated. It's got 1,500 stars. It's pretty reliable. Uh, I would feel totally comfortable installing this and recommending this to others. Um, and you'll just click like the, the, you'll just, if you haven't installed it yet, you'll see just an install button here and you'll just go ahead and click that. And you will need to restart. I can't remember, it might prompt you to restart, but you can always click restart here or just control C in your terminal and then start the server back up once it stops. And then you will have this really cool uh, system monitor up here. Now, if you wanna do it manually, uh, you can just, like any other custom node, you're just going to go into your custom nodes folder. You're going to clone the repo. Uh, then you're going to move in to the directory. And then you'll want to make sure you're in, if you're using a virtual environment, which I always recommend, uh, you're going to want to make sure you activate that virtual environment. And then you'll do pip install-r uh, requirements. That'll install all the dependencies. And then you can go back and start Comfy UI. And that should be it. So again, like this is a lot of steps and I don't really uh, recommend it. I recommend just using the Comfy UI Manager, which already does like so many other things. So it's definitely worth grabbing that. I have a guide on that as well if you haven't installed it yet. Although it's uh, pretty simple, same process basically. And so yeah, hopefully this was helpful. I'm gonna be covering a lot of different custom nodes and uh, some of them are gonna be a little bit more in depth. These ones are pretty easy. Uh, to get going and to understand what they do. So feel free uh, to drop a like, subscribe, and hopefully it was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.